how far away are you from uh, the shore? <laughs> Get in. How far away from you from the... I'm not going to give you the location of my damn house. <laughs> Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton may hail from very different worlds, but there's no doubt the pair have had great chemistry ever since they met as judges on The Voice way back in 2014. I did not know him, but I, you get to know him on the set because right. it's like he's so funny and he's so lovely. And I was actually, from the outside, he looks like, you know, so happy and, you know, all those things. Now they're a strong couple who've also recently bought their first mega home together. Once Gwen finally unloaded her 90210 compound, she and Blake were free to start fresh. And what better way to do that than close on a $13.2 million estate in Encino? We'll take a look at the lovebirds' new home, Blake's ranch they spent quarantine at, and more. Gwen Stefani is hands down one of my favorite female artists and ladies in Hollywood. I've idolized her since the No Doubt days, and I swear she must drink a magic potion because she hasn't aged at all, despite being a mother of three. I just looked online and it says she's 50, so I'm in disbelief. How? Anyway, she's a singer, songwriter, record producer, and more who broke out into the scene as the co-founder and lead vocalist of the band No Doubt back in the day. Gwen was also successful with her solo pop career she started in 2004, winning three Grammys over the years too. Aside from all that, she's also a fashion designer with her brand Land that came out in 2003. Although Gwen is a SoCal native and Blake Shelton is a born and bred Oklahoma boy, they seem to be a match made in heaven. Blake is also a big shot in the music industry, but a different genre altogether. Together. He's a country music singer and TV personality, of course, being on The Voice. And if you listen to country like I do, then you're well familiar with his songs. Gwen has done well for herself and accumulated a net worth currently estimated at over $100 million. And Blake, well, he's not far behind at all. Some sources state his net worth is at 80 mil, while others say it's 100 mil. So either way, I'd say the pair is pretty much equal. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Although power couple Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton's new residence has been rumored for months on end, there are finally property records to prove they're the owners of a $13 million mansion in Encino. We'll take a look at this new place, Blake's Hawaiian themed ranch, and much, much more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Jamie Foxx and Miley Cyrus, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. We'll kick things off by looking at Gwen's unwanted compound in Beverly Hills. The reason I call the place unwanted is because first of all, the home was notorious for all its well-designed interior, and she also shared the place with her ex-husband, Gavin Rossdale. Safe to say it was time to bid the place goodbye. After nearly two years on and off the market at lower and lower prices, Gwen finally sold her bold 90210 estate for $21.65 million to comedian Sebastian Maniscalco. While the recorded sale price is a huge amount by any standard, it's also so a lot below the original over-the-top asking price of $35 million. Property records indicate that Gwen and her ex-hubby bought the mountaintop estate back in 2006 for $13.25 million, and Gwen is the one who retained ownership and continued living here post-divorce. The home is tucked away in the guarded gates of the posh Summit Enclave that runs along a ridge high in the mountains between Beverly Hills and Studio City. It sits on two acres of land hidden down a separately gated 250-foot driveway, where you'll then find a sprawling main mansion and a detached guest house slash gym. Inside, Gwen's previous home spans over 15,000 square feet with 7 beds and 10 baths. It's eclectic and funky inside, decorated by Kelly Wurstler, who installed a ton of marble, cheerfully bright colors, and black and white graphic patterns throughout. The main house has formal living and dining areas full of fancy vintage furnishings, divided by a double-sided fireplace in black marble. The modern home may look slightly unassuming, but one step inside and it looks like you're walking into an art exhibit. There are a couple of less formal but still wildly decorated sitting rooms, one with another black marble fireplace and the other with open views over the pool thanks to the picture window. Even the attention grabbing black and white vibe is present right away in the entry with a geometric marble floor. However, this is nothing compared to the kitchen. The eating kitchen does have some more common features like a skylight, breakfast area and stainless steel appliances, but the room looks more like an optical illusion with all of the black and white stripes. Elsewhere in the house, there's a professional quality 
movie theater and more than one spacious office. Each one of the guest and family bedrooms has a private crazy tile bathroom, while the master suite has two luxury bathrooms and dressing rooms worthy of a style icon like Gwen. According to previous listing materials, there's also a gift wrapping room here. Not to mention wherever that bright rainbow striped hallway leads to. Outside, there's a detached pavilion with a 1500 square foot state of the art gym with all the fancy workout equipment you could imagine, as well as a massage room and sauna. There's also the glass walled guest suite with picture perfect views across the San Fernando Valley. More features on the grounds of the home include a lighted tennis court, terrace with fireplace and outdoor kitchen, and an infinity pool with spa and separate kitty pool. Although the Beverly Hills property is breathtaking, something tells me I could never picture Blake Shelton staying there with Gwen. I really don't think it's his style. Speaking of Blake, he owns two properties, one of which he, Gwen, and her son spent quarantine at. It seems Blake will always be a country boy at heart, considering he's stuck to his roots when purchasing a ranch in his home state of Oklahoma that spans over 1,300 acres of land. It's in the rural town of Tishomingo, and although he keeps things super private, the main house spans 2,150 square feet with four beds and two baths. Ten Point Ranch, as it appears to be called, has a property with several ponds and large wooded areas. There are red painted barns throughout, of course at least one of which being a horse stable. Gwen and Blake have reportedly been splitting their time between Ten Point Ranch and Blake's other spa in Oklahoma, which is Hawaiian themed, but we'll see that in just a sec. Photos shared by the couple while staying at their ranch showed off the two areas of the property, mostly the living room and dining room. The living room has vaulted ceilings with white wood paneling on the walls and a huge chandelier. There are sofas with cream cushions, a TV mounted on the wall, and family photos also set up. The dining room features the same wooden paneling on the walls and ceilings and has windows offering views out to the ranch's sprawling grounds. A long dining table sits at the middle of the room surrounded by cream cushion chairs and a bright green parrot statue occupies a corner next to the window. Gwen has also shared quite a few photos during the lockdown, including shots of her boys hanging out with Blake, one of which showed the pop star and Blake petting some new piglets they acquired for the ranch. Despite all there was to do at Ten Point Ranch, from farming to bonfires to ATV riding, even visiting a nearby bar that Blake himself owns, he still put the place on the market. As of about 2017, it's been listed for $4.7 million, but considering he also owns a house on Lake Texoma, the couple isn't short for properties. In fact, many of Gwen's posts on Instagram are shared from Lake Texoma home. This place is over an hour away from the ranch, but still in Oklahoma, and features two main homes and other structures. It's a lakeside property which Blake had constructed in a Hawaiian theme. There are three hut style guest suites complete with grass roofs, so family and friends have somewhere fun to stay. There's an impressive pool fit for a resort, even with a tiki bar, and of course, a flagpole you can't miss. Gwen has shared plenty of shots from inside the Hawaiian compound, so we know she loves the place. After all, it's rumored that Blake had it custom built all for her, even important palm trees here. It took months of rumors and speculation, but a few months ago, Property Records finally revealed the music star slash happy couple, Gwen and Blake, were the new owners of a huge estate in Encino, California. Their very first home together is nothing less than what you'd expect. A jaw-dropping $13.2 million mansion in the prime foothills of the San Fernando Valley. Encino is getting increasingly popular with celebs and seems to be sought after now. In March 2020, the pair bought a 1.6 acre plot of land on a secluded hillside, and though the home is yet to be built, it's built on spec, meaning there are some pics from the developer of the house that may pop up there. It also means that Gwen and Blake can be free to customize many of the details. The couple's new mansion will be approximately 13,000 square feet with every luxury amenity you could dream of, from a resort-worthy pool to decked out home theater. Built by noted developer Evan Gaskin, the sprawling house will have three full floors, a giant kitchen with top-of-the-line everything, a motor court, and a four-car garage. Not to mention the massive backyard will have a pool and spa and a large cabana with full wet bar and outdoor kitchen. Gwen and Blake's lot is one of the most private in all of Encino, tucked behind two oversized gates and invisible from the street, meaning until they themselves share pics, we'll just have to wait and see what the home looks like. So now we've taken a look at the homes of power couple Gwen Stefani and Blake Lively, and I think I'll wrap it up here. Gwen also has long owned two other modest homes in Los Angeles, one in West Hollywood and another in the Hancock Park neighborhood, but the pair doesn't seem to be using those homes to live in. After seeing their homes, which was your fave? I think it's hard to choose since the new Encino mansion isn't quite ready yet, but I have a feeling when I see the inside of that one, it'll be my pick. 
I also recently launched a personal channel, so if you want to get to know me better, watch my vid and subscribe. I'll reply to all my comments over there. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!